Fake news is information that's created and it, with the intent to intentionally deceive its recipient. Uh, fake news we've seen um, uh, spoken about more and more uh, throughout this U.S. presidential election and even on our daily news. Um, the, the fake news um, has uh, had a rise uh, due to the uptake in social media. We've seen that the um, headline has been separated from the news source. So it is very easy to create some sort of meme or other website that uh, mimics news uh, and proliferates rapidly uh, over the internet. Um, this, this also has an impact on, uh, on people's lives. Um, we've seen that uh, a, a gunman has walked into a pizza shop thinking that there's illegal activity going on. Uh, fake news also has had a name before and it's really called propaganda. Uh, we know what propaganda has caused um, throughout our history and the atrocities that have been linked through the massive consistent misinformation that has been um, pushed, um, pushed across the world. So um, we're using um, systems dynamics and systems thinking to try to help solve this problem. Uh, systems dynamics is a science that's created at MIT by the late Professor Jay Forrester, and uh, we are able to map quantitative and qualitative uh, concepts together um, to put together what we think um, the fake news pro uh, problem looks like, and we're able to form hypotheses that we can experiment against. Um, there are um, a, there's a tool in systems dynamics called stocks and flows. Uh, stocks are a collection of things, and, um, and as an example, the, the, the amount of information that exists in the world is a stock, and the amount of information that's created over time is also is a flow. And the more the, the, the greater the flow, the greater the stock gets. Um, people have a limited capacity of information intake. We are in an age where information is overflowing um, uh, all the time. And social media and other sites uh, allow us to limit the amount of information we take in. Um, our confirmation bias tends to make us down-select or deselect information we don't agree with. And also our friends, being like us, also would tend to promote the same sort of stories as well, which creates, a, uh, which creates an environment for fake news to proliferate very rapidly um, if we agree with what it may say, even though it's not true. So we are going to use uh, systems dynamics to put together uh, problems that will look at education, uh, media literacy, helping people uh, discern what is a real story versus a fake one, to help look at the revenue sources as we've seen Facebook and Google and other companies um, use to stem the profit incentive of creating fake news sites through ad revenue. And uh, we'll continue to press forward and try to really map and solve this complicated problem.